So we have another few minutes before we begin. So if you have any props, you might want to make sure that you have your block or belt strap, anything that will help you um, to move yourself into a little bit more of the stretch. So we're going to just begin coming into a seated position, coming just right into the middle of the mat. So we'll just start here until we're ready to begin. And so once you're here, just maybe sit up nice and tall and let your hands come to your knees and just let your eyes close. Just allow yourself to come into the present moment. Just watch your breath as it moves in and out. And hearing the sound of the breath as it travels through the back of your throat. So we're starting in a seated position, but we're going to come into a child's pose. So you're going to come on to your hands and knees, and then bring your big toes together, open your knees just as wide as the width of your mat, or a little shorter, whatever feels comfortable, and draw your tailbone down towards your heels, and reach and extend your arms forward. Try to rest your forehead down onto the mat, and just... Resting here, child's pose. Let your forearms just relax. Relax your shoulders. And just relax your whole body as best you can. And as you're breathing in and out, hear the breath as it travels through the back of your throat. And just feel your belly expanding and contracting as you breathe in and out. So just drawing your focus and awareness, your attention into the breath and the movement of your belly and hear the sound that the breath makes and just try to relax a little bit more with each exhalation. Notice if you're holding any tension maybe in the lower back or your shoulders, the sides of your body, your hips, anywhere, just try to let those tight areas soften with each exhale, let go a little bit more. And any time that you feel that you need a rest, this is the posture that you want to come back into. So right from here, right now, just lift your forehead slightly off the mat and reach the, um, keep the arms off the mat completely and just let your palms stay on the floor. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mat and draw your left buttock down pressing it towards that left heel and just feel a stretch going deeper into the left side of your body. And then coming back to center and walk your hands all the way over to the left side now and pressing your right buttock down towards the heel as you really release that hip down, feel the stretch opening into the right side of your body, maybe even feeling a little stretch into the lower back. And walking back through center, take it all the way over once again to the right. And extend those arms forward. Try to keep your arms shoulder width apart. And slowly lifting up, walking over to the left, maybe taking it a little further. And right buttock presses down. Arms remain shoulder width apart. And coming back through center, spread the fingers nice and wide. Come on to all fours, bringing your knees back under your hips. And let's curl the toes. Take your tailbone back, raise your knees off the mat, lifting up into a down dog. Draw the crown of your head to the floor. And press your right heel down to the mat as you bend your left leg at the knee. Feel the stretch entering into the right calf. And switch it out. Left heel presses down. And let that right knee bend, feeling the stretch in the left calf. Once again, over to the right, pressing that heel down. And over to the left, pressing the left heel down. 
and then pressing both heels down to the mat. Make sure that your head is hanging and you're pushing the mat away, trying to lift your tailbone. Bend your knees if you feel that you need to, if you're putting too much pressure into your neck and shoulders and your wrists. You don't want to have the weights going all the way forward. You want to really extend your sits bones up towards the back where the wall and the ceiling meet. And then from here, just take your hands in a little bit closer and bend both legs at the knees. See if you can try and touch your chest to your side. Bend as deep as you can, pushing the mat away with your hands. And then just start to straighten the legs. Lift those hips way up. And once again, bend the legs at the knees, pressing your chest towards your thighs. Feel the stretch opening more into the shoulder area. And lift the hips high up. And last time, bend the legs at the knees, pushing your chest towards the thighs. And slowly straighten the legs, lifting the hips. Look forward and walk your feet all the way to the very top of your mat. And as you get there, inhale, sliding your hands up the shins, lengthening your spine. Fold with your exhale. Stretching the tailbone up, try to keep the legs nice and straight so you might not be able to get your hands all the way down towards the mat or your ankles, but try to keep your back nice and long. From here, lengthen again, inhale and fold with your exhale. Bend both legs at the knees and let the arms stretch forward alongside your ears, lifting up into a chair pose and draw the tailbone down. Try to get those arms as close to your ears as possible. And if you need to lower them down, you can lower them down. You want to try not to, to shrug your shoulders. So avoid rounding into the shoulder and chest and really open the arms and extend them up. Tailbone is pressing down towards the mat. Knees are not moving further than your toes. So if you look down, you should be able to see your toes. Stand straight up, inhale, exhale, release. Take your arms all the way down. From here, bring your hands into prayer. And then circle the arms all the way up. And bring the hands back into prayer. Stretch the fingers all the way up. Inhale. Open the arms out. Exhale. And hands come back into prayer. And take the arms out to the side. Lift up. Bringing your palms together. Lowering down. And stretching the fingers up. And open the arms out to the side. Bring your hands back into prayer. And let your thumbs come right to the chest. Relax your shoulders. And allow the arms to release down, coming into our full mountain pose. So bring your big toes to touch. Lift all ten toes off the mat and spread your toes wide. Push down into the ball mound of each toe. And then as you're pressing down, really spread those toes wide. And then place each toe back down onto the mat. Maybe look down and see if you can see some mat in between your toes. So if you have socks on, you want to take the socks off. We practice with bare feet in yoga. So allowing the arches to slightly feel as if they're lifting, the arches of your feet lifting away from the mat. Feel rooted down into the four corners of your feet. Draw your navel into the back of the spine and allow the hips to outwardly rotate as you engage your thighs. Try not to lock your knees. Release your shoulders. Turn your palms slightly forward. Try not to stick your chest out. So you want to just feel your shoulder blades squeeze and reach the fingertips down to the mat. Allow the chin to stay level with the mat and allow the ears to stay, stay over your shoulders. And once you're here, just take a moment to close your eyes. And just as we did in our child's pose, just connect to the breath. Watch how your belly moves. Listen to the sound that your breath makes as you stand here. And just focus on the breath, allowing yourself to remain completely present and connected to that breath. And let your eyes open. Take the hands and stretch them all the way up and folding forward as you exhale. Bend the knees if you need to and place your hands on the mat, stretching the left leg back and allowing that right knee to stay over the ankle. We're just going to shift the weight slightly forward and push back, trying to push, push your left heel to the floor, pulling the right hip back, coming forward and pulling back. Do the best you can to try and straighten the legs when you lean back. And pulling back. Next time that you come forward, take your left foot to meet the right. And switching sides, right leg is going to extend back, making sure that when you're in your lunge, your left knee is over the ankle to start. And then you're just going to shift forward 
and pull back, trying to press that right heel to the floor, stretching through your calf. And pulling back, pushing that left hip back, just kind of moving, just to open up the legs. And then the next time that you move forward, bring your right leg to meet, right foot to meet the left. Inhale, take the hands and slide them up the shin. Exhale and fold. Take the arms out and T, hinge from your hips, come all the way up. Bring your hands together in prayer and return the hands to the center of your heart, taking your chin down to the chest. Make sure that you're staying connected to that ujjayi breath. Listen to the sound the breath is making. Make sure that the breath is nice and long and smooth. So even when the postures get a little intense, you don't want to start to breathe heavily or you can breathe heavily, but you don't want to breathe erratically. You want to keep the breath consistent. So it's okay to breathe, hear the breath uh, a little louder. So sometimes when we're in postures that are more challenging, we really need to go deeper into that breath. So from here, lift the arms all the way up. Inhale, exhale and fold. And let's step the left leg back. As we step that left leg back, we're going to take the right leg and extend it all the way up to the ceiling. You're going to round the back as you pull your right knee in towards your nose and then take that leg back and up. So the body is not moving. All you're doing is rounding your back, bringing your knee in. You're not shifting the weight forward into your palms. And round and lift. And the next time, you're going to take a lunge. Bring that right foot in between the hands. And hold here, pushing back through that left heel. I'm going to take the left knee down onto the mat. And now if you have a block and you feel that you need the block, you can bring it right next to your right big toe. I'm going to stretch the right arm forward and turn your chest towards the right. So if you need the block, whatever level of the block helps you to go into your twist a little deeper. So some of us are very tight through the hips, so you want to really try and press your pelvis down and allow the chest to really open and extend up. So whatever helps you go deeper into your twist here. So pull that right knee in towards the midline of your body and then bring that right hand down. And we're gonna remove the block, curl your back toes. And we're gonna to take the right leg all the way back into a three-legged dog, stretch it back and then lower the left foot down. I'm sorry, the right foot down alongside the left. And let's bring the left leg, lifting it up. And you're just going to round the back, bend the knee, try to touch your knee to your nose, and lift the leg back and up. And again, pull it in, knee to nose. And lift, stretch up as high as you can. And pull it in. And the next time, you're going to lunge that foot in between the hands. So if you can't get there right away, you can grab the ankle, place the foot right between the palms. Making sure your left knee is over the ankle, lower the right knee down to the mat. If you need the block, you can bring the block next to your left big toe and stretch your left arm forward and rotate, opening up your chest. So keep trying to pull your left knee in towards the midline of your body. Try not to let the knee go out to the side. So when you're pulling your left knee in, you want to pull that left hip back and really feel that you're keeping that right knee facing the front of your mat. Looking up towards that left thumb, inhale, and exhale, bring that hand down, curl your back toes, the left leg's going to go back for your three-legged dog, stretch it all the way up, and lower the foot down. From here, taking the right leg up once again, and as you reach that right leg up, you're going to start to walk the hands to the left foot. So keep that right leg lifted and try to square the hips down towards the floor. So your right leg won't lift as high if you turn your right hip down. If you open the hip up, you're going to be able to lift the leg higher. But we want to square the hip towards the mat. So let the toes point or face down towards the floor and just start to walk in. As you're walking in, you want the left heel to flatten down, but you don't want to start to bend the left leg. So just take it in as far as you can go without bending that left leg and turn that right hip down to feel that inner thigh, the inner thigh squeezing. Push the left hip up towards the ceiling. Drop your head down to the mat. And if you're able to walk in, keeping that left leg straight, walk your hands as far in as long as your left leg is straight. 
So you want to feel that left hamstring really getting a deep stretch. So you're not bending the knee. Then look forward, walk it all the way back into your three-legged dog, stretch that leg up, and then lower the right foot down. Left leg's going to lift up, and once you lift it up, turn that left hip down and allow the toes to face towards the floor. And you're going to walk in towards your right foot, pushing the right heel down to the mat. Just take it as far as you can go without bending that right leg, and squeeze that inner left thigh into the inner right thigh. Try to lift the leg as high as you can, and you're going to walk in only as far as you can go without bending the leg. So if you're flexible through the hamstrings, maybe your hands will come right around that right big toe. So toes are pointing down to the mat on the left leg. Head is hanging. And then slowly walk back. So we're getting that stretch through the hamstrings. Lift that left leg up a little higher. And lower the left foot down alongside the right. Holding here. Now let's walk the feet all the way to the very top of your mat. And once you get there, slide your hands up the shin. Inhale, fold with your exhale. Take the arms out in T, hinge from your hip. Come all the way up, bring your hands to prayer. And lower the hands back to the center of your heart. And hold here. So we're getting a stretch in through the legs. I'm going to be doing working on getting those hamstrings to... Just kind of open a little bit more and just hold here. Keep the thumbs pressing into the center of your chest. Close your eyes, a few more breaths. And slowly let your eyes open. Lift the arms all the way up. Inhale, exhale, and fold. Take the left leg back and bring your right leg back to meet it. So you're going to end up in a high push-up plank pose. You don't want your butt to be up. You're not in down dog. So you want to shift the hips slightly forward and make sure you're not tuck, you're not dropping into your lower back. So you don't want to collapse in your lower back. So push the shoulders back, pull the belly in, and your hips are facing directly towards the floor. Lower the right knee down onto the mat and flatten the toes on your right foot. Then just take that left foot back a little bit more. Stay on the ball mound of the foot and bring your right hand so that it comes right underneath your right shoulder. Now flatten your left foot down so when you do, your, left, your right toe should be facing towards the instep of your left foot. Do the best you can. This is going to be a balance here. So if you have to, if you uh, haven't been practicing that long, you can take the right foot out more to the right. But try to do the best you can to keep those toes of the right foot facing towards the instep of your left foot. So slowly, pressing down into the edge of the left foot, take your left arm and reach and extend it up to the ceiling. Look up towards that left thumb and tuck your tailbone under. So you don't want to be pushing your butt back or out to the side. You want to be tucking under, and you want that left shoulder to stack over the right, and breathe here. So again, finding that breath, hearing the sound the breath makes. If you're feeling strong enough, let that left leg just slowly begin to lift. So flex through that left foot, and just let that left leg stay lifted. Anytime you need to, you can bring the foot down. Breathe, keep the belly drawn in, and then lower that left foot down to the mat, and take your left hand down, taking the right leg back to where your left leg is in your plank position. Pull the navel into the back of the spine, and then press it up into down dog, and breathe here. Deep inhale and exhale. Remember, anytime you need to take a rest, you can go into your child's pose. And let's take it forward, back into our plank, making sure your butt is not up. You don't want to let the back be nice and long. Tuck your tail under. Pull the shoulders back. Squeeze the belly into the back of the spine. Try not to collapse in your lower back. And then allow the left knee to come down to the mat. Flatten the toes. 
Take your right foot back a little further. Bring the left hand so that it comes right underneath your left shoulder. Flatten your right foot down so that the left toes are facing towards the instep of your right foot. And again, if this is a little too much, too challenging for you, you can take the left foot more to the left, the longer side of your mat, just until you can find your balance. Then start to raise the right arm up, reaching through the fingertips, and gaze up towards the right thumb. And just keep reaching, keep breathing, keep gazing up. And if you're feeling balanced here, maybe you're ready, ready to raise the right leg. You want to flex the foot and tuck your buttocks under. You want to try not to pop that butt towards the, towards the left. Anytime you need to, you can bring the foot down. One more inhale. Exhale, lower the foot and take the right hand back down. So your right toes come onto the mat. And then the left leg goes back, right back into your plank and push back up into down dog. Nice deep inhale and exhale. And from here, let's walk the feet all the way to the front of the mat. Take an inhale, lengthening your spine. Hold as you exhale. Let's take the arms and extend them out and come up. Bring your hands to prayer, bringing them back to the center of your heart. And just take the chin to your chest. Put your eyes closed. Listen to your breath. Stay connected to that breath. And from here, let your eyes open if they're closed. Lift the arms all the way up. Inhale. And folding, exhale it down. Let's step the left leg back. So now you're in a lunge position. We're going to take that left leg and lift it up. So as you lift it up, drawing the left hip down towards the floor, stretching into the right hamstring, bend the right leg at the knee and take the left back, the left knee to the back of your right knee and reach and extend that leg up. Try to keep the toes facing down on the left foot. And then bring the knee behind the right knee and reach and extend, drawing the crown of your head towards your toes, getting those hamstrings to really stretch and open. Last time as you bend and straighten. And then bend that leg and let's get that left knee right into the crux of your right knee behind you. Now for a little bit more of a challenging work, challenging work if you want to do it, you can balance, see if you can balance here. Just bring your hands into prayer and just balance on your right foot. Keep that left knee in towards behind the right knee and allow the left heel to come towards your left buttock. For more of a challenge, you're going to just step it back into a lunge position and lift yourself up. So you want to balance on that left foot. And once you come up, keep your hands in prayer and hold here. You can lower the left knee down if you feel that's too much. And bring both feet down on either, uh, both hands down on either side of your right foot. Take your right leg, lift it all the way back and up, and lunge that right foot back in between the hands, followed by the left. Slide your hands up the shins. Inhale. Fold as you exhale. Inhale, arms out. Hinge from your hips. Come all the way up. And let's take a rest. As we come back to mountain pose, keeping the thumbs into the chest, hold here. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Just listen to the sound the breath is making. Even though your heart rate may feel a little bit more increased, keep that flow of breath to match the intensity of that energy. Opening your eyes, raise both arms all the way up. Inhale, exhale, and fold. This time we're going to take the right leg. I'm going to take that right leg all the way back into a lunge, and then lifting that right leg up. So you want to straighten your left leg, draw the right hip down to the floor. If you can't find it challenging to keep that left leg straight, you can always bring the block here and get the leg to go straight. 
And then from here, you're going to bend the right uh, left leg at the knee, pulling your chest towards your right the left side, bringing the right knee right behind the left. And lengthen again, stretch that leg up. And bend, pull that right knee behind the left. And stretch. And pull it in. And lift, straightening that leg. You can remove the block if you feel you don't need it. Then once the right knee comes right into the crux of the left, holding here, finding the balance on your left foot. So maybe you just try it out one hand at a time. Then if you can, bring both hands into prayer to the center of your heart. Just find that balance there. And then if you can, take the right leg back. Come into your lunge position. Pressing back through the right heel. Lower the right knee down if you need to. So high lunge, pushing back through that right heel. And then bring both hands down on either side of your left foot. And let's take the left leg and send it all the way back and up. And lower the left foot down. Let's take a rest in child pose here. A little break, bringing the knees down to the mat. Open the knees as wide as you need space. Big toes come together. And take your tailbone down towards your heels. And just take this time to just relax and rest. And slow with your breath. Really listen to that breath traveling in and out through the back of the throat. Control the way you're breathing in and out. So you want to be in control of how you're pre presenting that breath to yourself. Listen to its sound. Let it travel through the back of your throat. And slowly, let's take it back up into our down dog. So arms are extended. Spread your fingers wide. Come back onto the knees, keeping your hands right where they are. Just bring your knees back under your hips. Toes curl and tailbone lifts, drawing the crown of your head towards the floor. Keep lifting those hips up high. I'm going to take the right leg, send it all the way up to the ceiling. And take a lunge with that right foot in between the hands. Flatten your left foot down so that the toes are angled to the left corner of your mat. Push down through the heel. We're going to come up with the right knee staying bent and sweep your arms back behind you and lift your chest off your right thigh. Really root down into the back left leg. Both hips are square facing the front of your mat and raise both arms up for your warrior one. Reaching up, try to get those arms close alongside your ear and breathe. From here, I'm going to take those arms in goal posts and open your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, inhale, and exhale, reach and extend. Again, inhale, opening, squeezing your shoulder blades, exhale, reach and extend. And again, inhale, and exhale. From here, we're going to lift off on the uh, lift the left leg off the mat. So bring your arms out in T position. Spin onto the ball of your left foot and allow the chest to lean forward, pressing back through that left heel. Start to shift the weight into the right leg and let your left leg start to lift. So you can just find your balance first and then start to lift the left leg and continue to lift that left leg as high as you can go. And hold here. And let the toes face down towards the mat, lifting out from that right hip. That balance. Try to find two more breaths. Do the best you can. And one more inhale. As you exhale, bend the right leg. Come back into that high lunge. So you're on the ball of your left foot. And raise both arms up. And bring both hands down on either side of your right foot. Take it back into a plank position. We're going to go through a vinyasa, bringing your knees down to the mat. Chest and chin come down. Inhale, lift for your cobra. And exhale, back for down dog. And breathe in here, holding it for five more breaths. 
So extend the sits bones up, draw the crown of your head towards the mat, pushing the mat away with the palms. Really press back. Try not to collapse in the shoulders. Taking your left leg, lifting it all the way up, lunging the left foot in between the hands. So you're going to flatten that right foot. So you have to hop it in a little bit in order for that right heel to push down. Toes are angling more to the right corner of your mat. And the left knee will be over the ankle when you come up. So sweep your arms back and then peel your chest off your left thigh and reach the arms all the way up. Make sure your left knee is facing directly forward and the knee does not go past your toes. Make sure both hips are swiveling forward. So if you have to adjust that back foot slightly, try to adjust the foot and keep both hips facing the front of the, of the mat. And then from here, bending both arms at the elbows in your goal post, opening your chest. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, straighten the arms. Inhale and exhale, come up. You're going to swivel onto the ball of your right foot. Both arms come out in T position, taking our airplane. So just shift the weight forward, finding that balance, get grounded into the left foot, and then just allow that right leg starting to lift. Straighten your left leg. Now allowing the lift of the right leg to bring your chest towards the mat, towards the floor. Left leg remains straight, so try not to bend and hold. Crown of the head is facing forward, right hip is facing down. Toes are facing right down towards the mat. A few more breaths here, lifting out of that left hip. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, step it back for your lunge. Raise both arms all the way up. And exhale, both hands come down, taking it back to plank position and going through our vinyasa, knees down, chest and chin. Inhale, lift, cobra or up dog. And exhale for your down dog. And breathing here. And right from here, let's take it forward into our plank. Again, make sure the butt is not up. So you want to bring the hips down slightly, not collapsing into your lower back. Tuck your tail under and pull the navel into the back of the spine. So squeezing your belly button into the back of the spine is actually engaging the abdominals, which is a lock or a banda. So that's our Uriyata Banda. And let's bring it down to the knees and relaxing in child's pose. Tailbone down, rest the forehead. Take a little bit of a break here. Nice deep inhale and exhale, remembering how many times you've been here, how you connect to your breath. We connect to being present. And let's take it back on to all fours. And right from here, send the right leg back and your left leg back into your plank. And let's end up coming all the way down onto the belly, bringing your forehead down onto the mat. So if you need to whip, Bring yourself back further. Bring yourself back and let your forehead rest on the mat and extend your arms forward. Bring your big toes to your uh, ankle bones to touch and let the toenails face the floor, pressing down into the toenails. As you're pressing down into your toenails, feel that you're pushing down so much that your knees are starting to lift and the tops of your thighs are starting to lift. So feel the action in your legs both legs, and feel a little bit of a squeeze in your glutes. Then relax your legs and take your legs out a little wider and allow the toenails to come flat. And from here, we're going to lift the forehead, lift the arms, and then lift your legs. Taking a back bend here, stretch out with the fingers, just lift your head slightly. Try not to look forward. So you want to just be looking down at the mat, 
Just lift those legs, lift the arms, lift your chest. One more inhale, lift it up a little higher. Exhale, come down and bring the elbows in. Take your right ear to the mat and just relax here. Listen to the sound of your breath so it's easy to hear it when you're on your chest and it's easy to feel your heart beating and maybe you actually can hear the sound of the heart beating. Then turn onto your forehead and bend both legs at the knee. Windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Taking another back bend. Now this time bring your legs in a little closer. Toenails are touching and extend your arms forward. So your forehead is now still on the mat. Your arms are still sh uh, uh, shoulder width apart, but your legs are a little closer. Starting to raise your forehead, lift the arms, lift the legs. So try to bring those legs in a little closer this time and pull your shoulders away, reaching forward with the fingers. Just lift those legs, holding here. Hold it for two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. And last one. Inhale, lift up a little higher. Exhale, bringing it all down, turning onto your left ear this time, bending both arms in. Check in with your breath, listen to your heart beating. And just let it go. And forehead to the floor. Bend both legs at the knees, windshield wiper from side to side. And then lower the legs back down, slide your hands so that they come right next to your shoulders. And then just pushing your hands in, lift the chest, lift the forehead, and come into tabletop position. So once you're here, palms are flat, fingers are spread wide. Going to raise the right arm out to the side, follow the thumb up to the ceiling, and then follow the thumb as it slides behind your left wrist, reaching and extending all the way over to the left, lowering the right shoulder, right ear, cheek and temple down to the mat. Your tailbone is sticking up in the air. Just let yourself relax into this twist. You do the best you can to really send that right hand a little further and pulling that left shoulder to stack over the right. If any time anything feels a little too intense, you can back off. So only take it to you where your best challenge is for yourself. And then slowly releasing that right arm, following the thumb out to the side and up, and place that right hand back down underneath your right shoulder. So we're going to switch sides now. So the left arm is going to come out to the side as you follow the left thumb, lifting it up and slide that hand behind the right wrist and reaching, extending as far as you can, lowering the left shoulder, cheek, ear, and temple down. So your right arm is bent, like a little kickstand with the elbow. That right shoulder try to, tries to stack over the left. And breathe here. And then Pressing into the right hand, lift that left arm out to the side, following the thumb up, and bring that hand back down underneath your shoulder. Crossing both legs at the ankles, come to sit down onto your buttocks. Now let's take the soles of the feet together. So if you have difficulty sitting up nice and straight on the mat, you can bring the block underneath your buttocks to allow your hips to open up. And pull your heels in close to your groin, turning the soles of the feet to the ceiling. And just kind of bring yourself into where you feel comfortable to maintain that length in your spine. Inhale, pull the navel into the back of the spine. And as you exhale, just hinge from your hips. So feeling the inner thighs and the groin stretching. And just go as far as you can. Take another inhale and exhale. Inhale, and as you exhale, just slowly round down. Just draw the forehead towards the soles of your feet, gently pressing your elbows into the inner thighs just to open up the thighs, to the, into the outer, actually by your hips. Gently pressing, try not to bounce. Inhale. 
and slowly taking it back, taking it back and up, and reach and extend both legs forward. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Remove the flesh from your buttocks. Flex those feet. Again, if you need to sit on your block, sit on your block and let the arms lift up. Inhale, exhale, hinge from your hips. Place your hands somewhere on your shins and keep your back nice and long. Pull the navel into the back of the spine. Inhale, lift up higher. Pull those hips back and let your belly lead the way down towards your legs. Then let the whole chest come down slowly. Try not to round through your shoulders. Keep the feet flexed so that you increase the stretch into the hamstring. And if you can, maybe grab your big toes in yogi toe lock. And then pull in, lift the chest, inhale, exhale, bending the elbows as you pull your belly closer to your thighs. Don't worry about how low you go, but feel more concerned about keeping the alignment, the form, stretching in through the lower back. We want to feel a lot of this stretch happening in your lower back. The reason you're feeling it in your hamstring is because your feet are flexed. And slowly lift up and walk your hands all the way in. We're going to slide ourselves to the front of our mat and rolling ourselves down. So you want to keep your legs about hip distance apart, so slight uh, space in between your feet. Reach the arms forward, come into a pelvic tilt, so pull your navel into the back of the spine and round your back, chin into the chest, and slowly roll yourself all the way down. And keep rolling until you come down one vertebra at a time, and then take the arms and extend them all the way back. We're going to roll ourselves up again. We want to roll up. So just keep the knees about three quarters of a bend, keeping the heels on the floor. Roll up and slowly pull it back. Nice and slow, keeping the tilt in the pelvis, rolling the back down. Reach the arms all the way back above your head and roll it up. Reaching forward, stretching up beyond your toes and rolling it back and down. Last time, stretch those arms all the way back, pull the belly in, and roll yourself up. Reach and extend forward, and slowly taking it back. And once your whole back is down, reach the arms all the way over your head, behind your, uh, reaching the fingers to the back of the, um, back of your mat, and reach and extend, stretching, hug the knees into your chest, and slowly take some nice gentle massages on that back, so rocking side to side, massage your back. And then just making sure that you're in the center of your mat, keeping your knees into the chest, send the left leg straight out, make any adjustment that you need to, and just allow that left leg to relax. Pull that right thigh into your chest and then hold to the outside of the right knee with your left hand. Let your right arm extend out in T position, relaxing the shoulder. Draw your navel into the back of the spine, so squeeze your belly. Inhale. And then on your exhale, just let that right knee just gently move over towards the left side of your mat. And just let that right shoulder stay down. Let your right foot relax. Then turn the gaze to look over the right shoulder towards the fingertips. And once you're here, just close your eyes. Just breathe here. Really open up into the stretch, into the twist. Allowing the right side to relax. Bring your head back to center, taking the right leg back up. Then draw the left leg in. Send the right leg out, make whatever adjustments you need to, and just let that right leg relax, pulling the left thigh into your chest, pull to the outside of the left knee with your right hand. Bring your left arm out in T position, draw the navel into the back of the spine on your inhale. Exhale, let that left knee release over to the right. And one side may be, may be less intense than the other, you may be able to go deeper into the twist on one side than the other. Just let that left foot relax, pulling that knee down without letting the left shoulder 
left and then take your gaze to look down the fingers of your left hand. Close your eyes and just breathe here. Just relax, go deeper into the stretch. And slowly bring your head back center. Take that left leg back up and hug your right knee into your chest. And go ahead and rock nice and slow back side to side. And let's extend both legs straight up to the ceiling, continuing to stretch in through the hamstrings, flex your feet. And as you're flexing your feet, you're going to just start to lower one leg down. So we'll start, we'll keep the right foot up. Just start to lower your left leg down. Keep the navel pulling into the back of the spine. So stretching the hamstrings while we're working the belly. Once that left heel touches, slowly lift it up. Keep the foot flexed. Take it nice and slow. Once that left foot comes to meet the right, switching it out, keeping the belly pulled into the back of the spine. And just breathe. Make sure that you're breathing your ujjayi breath. Have control over the breath and slowly moving that leg down until the heel touches and then slowly raising it back and up, keeping the lower back pushing down into the mat. So you're going to really feel that you have to work your abdominals for that to happen. And again, once that right leg comes to meet the left, lower the left leg down again. So you're getting a stretch through the hamstrings by keeping the feet flexed. Once the left heel touches, slowly raise it up. Keep the belly squeezing into the back of the spine. So if this is bothering your back, you can stop doing this. You want to make sure that your lower back is protected. Once the left leg comes up, lower the right leg back down. Nice and slow. Keep the both feet flexed. Once that right heel touches, bring it back up, keeping the lower back pushing into the mat. Keep raising the right leg until finally it meets the left, and then bend both legs at the knees and slowly rock side to side. And place both feet down onto the floor. And just holding here, just stay here with your hands coming onto your belly. Let your shoulders relax. Now feel the lower back pushing into the floor. So in order for that lower back to push into the floor, you have to come into a pelvic tilt. So you have to tilt your pelvis slightly. And then just let your body, your belly rise and fall with each inhale and exhale. Feeling the belly rising and falling into your palms. And then just let your arms release, coming into a hip opener. So placing the right ankle above the left knee, raising the left foot off the mat, and pushing that left thigh into that right ankle, releasing the hands behind the left thigh and push in a little bit more. Get that deeper stretch into your right hip. You want a little bit more added intensity and to stretch the left hamstring again, you can stretch the left foot straight and flex the foot, and then if you want, you can reach up, you can grab the yogi toe lock, or reach for the sole of the foot. By pulling in more, it's gonna intensify that stretch in the right hip. So you be in control of how deep you want that stretch. Hold for two more breaths. And take another inhale, exhale, let that left foot come down and release your right foot so both feet are flat. Just notice how the right hip feels. Switching sides so the left foot is going to come on top of the right thigh, just below the knee. Left knee falls open. Release the right foot off the mat, pushing the right thigh into that left ankle, interlacing the fingers behind your right thigh. The more you pull in, the more intense that stretch is. So guide yourself into what feels comfortable. And just breathe where you are, keeping the lower back flat, so try not to arch the back. And if you want a little more intensity, stretching into that back of the right leg, into the hamstring, flex the foot, 
You can release if you want, holding to the ankle, pulling in a little bit more, or holding your foot, pulling in more, and increasing that deeper stretch in the left hip. And just wherever you are, just breathe into the hip. And one more inhale, exhale slowly, releasing that right foot back down to the mat. And take your left foot down. And then from here, open your arms out in T position, keeping your legs about hip distance apart. Just windshield wiper over to the right. Inhale up, exhale left. Inhale up, exhale right. Inhale up, exhale left. Inhale up, exhale right. And let's just hold. So let those knees really fall open. Inhale up and exhale over to the left and just pull, just let the knees draw down. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale, just take your arms in a little closer, turn your palms to the ceiling, slide one leg straight out and then the other, preparing for relaxation, make any final adjustments that you need to, adjust your clothing, Turning your palms up, squeeze your shoulder blades, let the chest lift, relax your shoulder blades, let your eyes close. Check in with your chin, just make sure your chin is not jutting way up towards the ceiling. So you want your neck to be in a neutral position, you don't want to arch the back of the neck. And once you get there, just settle in, make any final adjustments to your clothing, to your body, and just let your body relax now. Taking the time to go inward, just to link with your breath, going into your natural flow of breath. And let the breath slow down a little. So that you don't have to have control over the breathing. Just letting the breath move in naturally and slowly in and out of your body. Feel yourself releasing any worries, any tension any heaviness, anything that's holding you back from allowing yourself to be more open. Just free up that tension. And with each exhale, feel any tightness moving out of your body, surrendering it to the earth. Just feel more and more relaxed until you almost feel that you can't relax anymore. And then just stay there, continuing to release any tension, any tightness, any heaviness. Maybe just take a mental scan of your body, noticing if there's anything you need to let go of in your hips your legs, your shoulders. And surrendering away to anything that does not serve you. Letting it go. And then just taking the next few minutes here as you relax in your Shavasana. No worries. No more effort. No more doing, but just being free of heaviness, free of the tightness, feeling light and open and completely relaxed.
And just take your time to notice how you're feeling without moving. Place one hand onto your heart and the other hand onto your belly. Feel your breathing and feel your heart beating. And then just gently let your arms open out to your sides. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes as you slowly and gently come back to the awareness of your physical body. Moving a little bit more through the wrists and the ankles. Taking a nice deep inhale, stretch the arms over your head. Exhaling out any sighs, sounds, or moans. Just get a nice, beautiful, deep stretch. Hugging your knees, pulling them in close to your chest, and rocking from side to side. And when you're ready, rock your whole body all the way over to the right side, allowing yourself to come into a comfortable fetal position with your head resting gently on your right arm, allowing the left hand to come in front of your chest on the floor. Take a moment as you remain here. Be with your stillness. Be with your peace. And letting the eyes remain closed very slowly. Press into your left hand and guide yourself up to a seated position, trying to keep your chin into the chest. So bringing your head up at the last moment and allowing your spine to be nice and straight, coming into the seated position. And let's take the hands together into prayer, allowing the thumbs to come to press to the center of your heart. Take a moment to feel your heart beating. Notice the space, the openness of your body, free of tension and tightness, allowing that lightness to spread out through your body, feeling open and happy. And now let us feel in this sensation of openness and happiness as we chant OM. We take a nice deep breath in. Oh. And very slowly and gently, bowing your head down as the chin comes to the chest, bowing to that light and love that shines within you. Know that that light and love shines brightly within each and every one of us. Namaste. Thank you everyone, everyone for joining in. I hope to see you next time. Have a good night.